Hello my dear friend, I'm Petr, your glorious lord, and welcome to a good snowman is hard to build. If you're here because you're stuck on one of the puzzles, please click on the description below and choose which puzzle you want to watch. If not, then stick around for the introduction, I will explain how the game works, and then we're going to go uh, do the puzzles. The puzzles do not have my face, it's just my little commentary and the puzzle solutions. So, how does the game work? This is a game where you have to build snowmen surprisingly and you have three balls to build the snowman now luckily i had an operation on my genitals on my balls when i was 15 so i'm an expert on white balls so this is how you build this is how you build when you push each of the balls they become bigger then there there are three stages the first stage is the little ball this is the little ball and this is also the little ball this is the medium ball and when you push it twice, this is the large ball. The large ball, once it is large, whenever you uh, pass through more snow, it stays the same, but the snow goes, goes away. And when there is no snow, when you pass through the, with the smaller balls, the, th those, those balls stay the same, which is quite convenient, you know? The balls stay the same, and that helps you, you know, move them around. And also when you... Let me reset this. Also, when you decide to put to put the balls one on each other, see how see how this is a big one and this is a small one. You need to put them properly. It needs to be a big one, medium one, and then small one. So if you do this, if you put the little one on top of the big one, then you will not be able to actually put the middle one in between. You will need to push it off. And when, whenever you push it off, it goes on the other side. Now, if there was snow on the other side, this little ball would become the medium ball. And that is how the game works. Also, aside from that, you have these benches. Whenever you sit on the bench and go to sleep, you get in this virtual, this parallel universe or whatever it is. And then you can go, go through the world. You can go through the world and sit on other benches. This, I guess, this helps you, you know, avoid this little maze and then you can get to other other puzzles faster and that is that is how the game works so this is mostly a guide you know this is not a let's play or anything this is simply a tutorial guide towards uh, the solutions of the game because it took me a while to complete them but uh, but yeah I think this type of the video of video for this game fits very nicely so enjoy the tutorial the first puzzle is called Lucy, and it is very simple. You need to push the little one, then roll the middle one all the way to the edge, and put the middle one onto the big one, and roll the little one onto the middle one. And that is Lucy. To solve Andy, you need to go over here to this ball. You need to push it over here. Then you need to push this one over here. And then you can choose. You can choose either this ball or this ball, and one of them needs to go down. Once this one is down, you can push this one up, and you can move the little one on top. And that is Andy. Solving Tanya is very simple. You need to roll the middle one to the left or to the right, and then down, and then roll the, the top one on top, and the little one up. And that is Tanya. To solve Sarah, you need to push the middle one up, and then to the left, and then you need to push the right one all the way down, all the way down and then go around the back excuse me around the back go over here push it up and on the other side push this one up and that is sarah to solve david you need to push this little ball over here this little ball over here and then roll this one all the way here make sure to roll this one down here roll it up and then the little one up and that is david to solve William, you need to do this. You need to push the big one over here. Then you need to go around the back, push it over here. And then you need to change the direction all the way to the to this side. And then go all the way to the right. You need to push this one over here. And then the little one on top. And that is William. To solve Louise, you need to do this. Push this little guy up here. And then this little guy down here, push it all the way to the to the back, and then return to this one, push it down, push it up, and the little one is fairly simple, just roll it on top. 
and that is Louise. To solve Horace, you need to move the big ball left and right. It is fairly simple. To do this, move it all the way here, but you need to leave one space open so the little one can become a little bit bigger. And then you need to go around, push the little one up, and that is Horace. To solve Sally, you need to go to the middle ball, roll it all the way to the right. Once it is rolled all the way to the right, roll it down so it becomes the middle sized ball, and then roll the big one all the way to the left. Once it is all the way to the left, you need to roll it into the snow and roll it all the way to the right. Once it is all the way to the right, you push the middle ball on top and then make sure that the little one goes up as well. And that is Sally. To solve Kevin, go to the ball all the way to the right, push it down and then push it left. Push it left until you get to this position and then push this ball up and then push the big one all the way down. Once you do this, you will have access to all of the balls and then just align them properly. And that is Kevin. To solve Rebecca, you need to go down, you need to push the little one on top of the big one, then go around the back and push the little one back down. And then you push the little one up here and then you push the middle one on top of the big one. Then you roll down the little one and put it on the snowman that is Rebecca. To solve Chris, push the middle one to the left or to the right, your choice, and then bring it back. And then push the little one on top of him and then push it left. Push the middle one on top of the snowman and the little one as well. And that is Chris. To solve Lydia, push the big one to the left and then this one in the middle, push it all the way across and then this one on the left, push it on top return back to the little one and push it up. Lydia! To solve Mary, you need to push the big one all the way to the right, like this, and then you need to push it back. You need to push it back over here, and then push the little one off the middle one, over here, then push the big one back here, then the little one goes all the way across, and then the middle one goes up, you return back on the other side, push the little one up, that is Mary. To solve Julian, you need to push this one all the way to the right. And then you need to go around the back towards this ball, push it once and push it over. It needs to flip over. Once it is flipped over, you return back and push the big one all the way down. Once the big one is all the way down, just follow with the middle one, put it up and put the little one up. That is Julian. To solve Freya, you need to push the middle one all the way to the left. Push the other two into the snow and now choose one of them needs to go into this middle position. Once it is in the middle position, you can roll it all the way in the corner as the biggest ball. The middle ball needs to go on top of it, which is fairly simple, and then the little one on top. That is Freya. Solving Jack and Jill is a little bit more complicated. It is the first puzzle with two snowmen, so try to follow. First, you need to push this one up here. Then, on the other side, the little one goes up. Then, on the same side, the little one goes left. On the other side, the little one that is still outside goes all the way over on the other side. Now, in order to make everything work properly, you need to push these two balls to the right and then this one over here. Once this is over here, just put it up and you will be pretty much ready to finish. Once you put this one over here, you can roll it over here on the other side. Once it is rolled on the other side, you can push it all the way up here, and that is Jack. Now these two are one on another, which is not something that's supposed to happen. And then push this one over here, push this one back down, and push it here, and that is Jill. Cynthia and Michael are a little bit complicated to solve, so I'm going to try to explain as best as I can. First thing you need to do is create the right snowman. To do that, you need to push this one all the way here. And then the bottom one to create the biggest, biggest ball. Push it in the corner and keep it there. Now go on the other side and push this one all the way here. And now use this one to just roll it onto the big one. 
and then roll the little one up, and that is Cynthia. And now, to create Michael, you need to you need to do circles. You need to do circles circles around the map. So to do that, we need to do this. First, create the big one. Then, go around the back again. Go here. Go around. Push it all the way around. It needs to go into this corner. And then, do the same with this ball. Push it all the way over here. Go down. Right. Down. Left. Well, I said right. It's left, not right. I'm very bad at left and right. And there we go. That is Michael. Jessica and Amelia, another double snowman puzzle. In this one you are not allowed to move the little ones and the middle ones on the snow because there is an even number of all of them. So all you need to do is move this one over here, then the middle one across. Then focus the other big one, move it down. Then focus the first big one, move it right. And then move the middle one on top and then to the left. And then push the big one all the way down. Once this is done, you are pretty much, pretty much finished. You need to push this one up here to create the first one, Jessica, and to create the second one, just follow the green path, put it up, and this one goes up, and that is Amelia. In order to complete Paul, you need to push the middle one over here and immediately push it down. This is a must, you have to do this. Then push the lower one outside, into the middle, then go around the back, push it back inside, push it on the top, and then go all the way down, and then push it into the corner. Now do the same thing with this one, this is the little one, the little one needs to go over here, make sure to push this one up, and then push the little one, and that is Paul. To complete Lauren, you need to do the following, you need to push this middle ball to the left, then the right ball down, and then the right ball left, and then the right ball into the snow, and leave it in the snow. This ball goes on top of the middle one, and then push it forwards into the snow, and push it left. It will create the biggest, the biggest ball, and then simply push the middle one up, and push the little one up, and that is Lauren. To complete Alice, we need to do a lot of rolling, so first thing you need to do is roll this one all the way here, and then make sure to push this one up. Then continue rolling until you get to the end, and then roll it up. And I'm pretty sure that you know how to do the rest, just push this one all the way here, push this one up, and this one up, and that is Alice. To solve Adam, you need to make sure that both Alice and Lauren puzzles are complete. Once they are complete, you will have access to both entrances, and then you need to push the top ball up, push it to the left, and then you need to switch puzzles. You need to switch entrances, I would say, go all the way around. Once you are all the way around to the second entrance, you can push it down, just one push it down, and then the left one, push it left, and then you can put it on top of the snowman. And then just follow with the little one, and put it on top. And that is Adam. To solve Alex, push the left ball down, and then right, and then right again, and then go around the back, bring it back, and then the right one goes down, into the green, then the big one goes over the snow, up, and then to the left, and then up again, like this. And then, this guy simply needs to follow the green until he is on top, and then the little one, and that is Alex. To solve Helen, we will need to do more entrance manipulations, so first thing you need to do is push this one down, and then go around, push the middle one into the snow, and then push it right and then push it down. Then you can push this one to become the middle, the middle one, and push it on top. Now in order to finish the snowman, we need to go all the way around, all the way around through Alice and Alex, and then simply push 
it up and that is Helen. Rob, James and Matthew may seem complicated, but it is actually very simple. You need to go to the right, push this one here and then go around the back, this one, push it all the way down. Then the one that you created before, push it over here, not here. And then use this one to create the middle one, go all the way over here with this one, push it down, push it up, and then you can simply use this one to create Rob, roll this one a little bit back so you can get some control, roll it down to create James, and then simply push left and down to create the biggest one, then push left to create the middle one, and then push it up and simply follow with the little one and that is Matthew. To complete Zoe and Richard, first thing you need to do is push this big one in the corner and then make sure that the second big one clears this snow here and push it into the other corner. And now focus on these three, the middle one goes all the way down, and just follow the green path to create it over here and then this little one, not here, follow the green, follow the green all the way over here and then put it up here because there is snow over here which will make it the middle sized ball. And then this little guy, simply follow the green and then push this little guy here and on the other side Richard will be created. To solve Willow, you need to make sure that both Zoe and Richard and Rob, James and Matthew are completed because you need both entrances to manipulate the ball positioning. So the first thing you need to do is go all the way over on the other side and push the top ball to the left. And then you need to switch to the other entrance and once you are on the other entrance, right here, push the ball down here. Then come back to the first entrance and push it all the way to the right. Then push this one up here, make sure that the little one goes up and on the other side. Then push the middle one over here, push the middle one on top of the big one and on the other side do this. And that is Willow. To solve Ryan make sure you are at this entrance, the lower side entrance. The first thing you need to do is push the left one up and then push it back down, then push it right. Then make sure that the little one goes over and push it up. Then push the big one over here. And now you need to switch over onto the other entrance through Helen and Rob, James and Matthew. Once you are here, push the little one on the right side to the left and put it up. Then go back to the little one, follow the green path and put it up. And that is Ryan. And here we are the final puzzle, Ben and Alan. This one can be solved very quickly if you pay some attention. So pay some attention and you will solve it quickly. First, push this one to the left, then this one to the right. Now push this one down and to the left. We need to cover all of this snow and make sure to manipulate the entrances and then push it to the right and go up, up all the way here and then go back down, go back down over here and in the upper upper area push this one to the left and push this little one on the green to the right and now on this side this guy will be your second big ball now you need to push this one back to its original position and then use this big ball to bring it all the way over here and now you need to bring it here in this position and then you need to move this one over here. Once it is moved back there, you can push this one forward. Now go back around, go back around and push the little guy over here. And now you have space to push the big one in the corner. Once the big one is in the corner, you can push this one on top and you can go all the way around the back to push the little one and create Ben. Now that Ben is created, you need to go here, manipulate the entrances, push this one up here. See, this is why 
we needed to make a circle with the big one in the first place so this middle one doesn't become a big one and over here and the ending is near and that is Alan so those were all the puzzles I hope uh, I hope I was clear enough I hope I wasn't too fast because uh, the puzzles can be solved very quickly you know you can solve you can finish the game very quickly but it first took me about three and a half hours to solve all puzzles but once you get the hang of it you can solve it very quickly so I guess thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope I helped you solve some of these puzzles uh, if that is the case feel free to leave a like and I guess I shall see you next time <laughs>